Hey guys, wanted to share a message. This is really kind of part two of enjoying life uh, exactly how you would like it. And it really is a decision, you know, all through scripture, as I wrote uh, in the email and on Facebook, um, it talks about uh, the twos, the two brothers, the older brother, the younger brother, where the younger shall reign over the older. It talks about two harvests, the rough barley harvest, the first one, and the second harvest where the wheat is separated from the chaff. And the chaff there is a metaphor for our skin, guys, where the life from the inside out. And that's actually ecclesia, too. Uh, the, the word we get for church, ek is out, out of and to. And kaleo is name or nature. So it's living out of the nature from the inside out as church. And so the whole book, guys, are all metaphors of um, the, the first harvest of this physical body, the life in this physical body. And the second harvest, the spiritual man that reigns over the, the physical man is, is the, the second. It's really learning how to live um, out of the spiritual man. And uh, like I said, the, there's no there's no bad news in the entire good news. I promise, I promise, I promise. The whole book is about two love covenants. And uh, uh, here's what I want you to know. Your true nature, the eternal part of you, is the spiritual man. It's the inner man, guys, um, that shall reign. And it has no limits whatsoever because it's the presence of God. So think about that. It's... Uh, uh, um, does God struggle for things? If God wanted anything in life, he would just simply decide this is how it's going to be, make a decision. This is how life's going to be. And he's given us that ability. We share in the creative nature of God, guys. And so it really is this simple. Could you allow yourself to have exactly what you want? If you were the, the eternal presence of God, the eternal power of God, the unlimited presence of God, could you just say, yes, I think I'll have life this way and say yes to having life exactly how you want it. It really is that way. And uh, uh, Einstein said it this way, the field or the energy field, this invisible field of energy that we can't see is the sole governing agency of the particle, meaning that everything we see physically is held together by this in invisible field of energy. So when the field of energy changes, it brings something else physical. That's just how life works, guys. And so our life is exactly... Uh, a, the shape of our our most dominant feelings and thoughts. Now, what's really cool is to, to live life in this unlimited state, to live out of the presence of God is much easier than what we've been taught. And that's that's why I'm sharing books, uh, you know, by by Lawrence Crane, Love Yourself, and and uh um Rhonda Burns, you know, The Greatest Secret, uh, Joe Dispenza, um Becoming Supernatural, You Are the Placebo, all those, they're all trying to describe the same thing is the miraculous design of mankind as we've been sharing is, is the fact that you have 86 trillion neural transactions per second should show you that you're divine, that you were designed with the presence of God, with the ability of God within you. And it's not supposed to be hard. It's supposed to simply be, if I change what I'm doing within, if I change my feelings and thoughts within, it creates a different energy. And naturally the, the old situation has to drop because the field is the sole governing agency of the particle. And it brings you life that shapes towards you new energy, the feelings of joy, the feelings of love, the feelings of gratitude. And so it really is that easy. And what's really cool, guys, is, is uh, learning that no matter how difficult the situation is, no matter what you're going through, you can always make the decision to let all of that go and live life out of the, out of the spirit. Uh, and, uh, you know, Dispenza would call it... Um, learning to to live out of the spirit. He would call it learning to create from the field instead of matter. I'm just reading some of my old notes. And uh, he says, you know what, when you get a, when you get an idea of what you'd like to experience and allow yourself to experience the emotions if you already have it, you clap space and time. You don't have, no have to you don't have to go anywhere to get it or struggle or fight some force outside of you. There's only one force, guys. It's the force of God. And uh, you know, the Western theology go, you're not saying there's not evil in the world. I don't know. Evil, that word is raw. I'm saying people are operating without love and doing things, misusing the creative ability of God. But that that's a whole mis, mistranslation again, is if if there's this naked lady that never ate from a, a tree of the knowledge of good and evil, knowledge is knowing. It comes to experience. Um, it has intimacy with all through scripture. It's not like, oh, now I know. It's not that at all. It's not that at all. And literally that whole thing is an assurance. It's a promise of God that says, you shall eat out of the firmness of God, the covenants of God, both physically and spiritually. And it's good for you. 
So yeah, do people misuse the creative ability of God? Yes. But if they were taught that they are one with, with God and the wholeness of God and everything was designed to flow to them freely out of the spirit, there'd be no need for all the different things we see today, all the wars and people struggling to do things. And it was never meant to be a struggle. It was never meant to be hard because the presence of God within you doesn't struggle. So if there's something going on in your life that you wish were different, or there's something, if I had a magic wand, what would I like to experience? Whether it's uh, uh, financially, abundance-wise, whether it's health, whether it's relationships, <clears throat> could you allow yourself to say yes to that? That's the easiest way to operate in love because love is welcoming. You. And so here's what's really interesting. Could you allow yourself to have life exactly how you want it? If you were the presence of God, could you? Of course you could. You're the presence of God. You could allow yourself to go, I think I'll allow myself to have that. And it's all based on the the energy within, the feelings and the thoughts uh, that you're experiencing within. So here's what's really cool. The spiritual man has no limits. It's not bound by the, the natural limits of time. It's not bound by space. It really doesn't care what the facts are. It doesn't care what your education is or uh, whether you think you're doing it right or or whether you think you need to uh, a struggle. It There's a complete disregard of external circumstances. In fact, the external circumstances are just a reflection of the internal energy, the, the feelings and thoughts within you. And so you don't have to try to figure it out. Um, it's simply changing your feelings and thoughts within and your every problem or perceived problem, no matter how difficult it seems to be, when you let go of those uncomfortable feelings of, I don't have it, I'm worried about it. I'm, all you're doing, guys, is you're, you're, you're meditating or thinking something over and over and over again something that might happen to you. So you can let go of all external. Um, you can stop paying attention to anything outside of you and start being aware of what you're feeling inside. So think of something you'd like to experience. And if it's something, I wish this was different. I'm going through this struggle. I wish this was different. Just allow yourself to get in touch with what you're feeling about that. And the easiest way is to say yes to it versus trying to push it away, trying to trying to use force, trying to overcome it with positive. The easiest way is to let it just dissolve out of you because it's not true about you. The true you is perfect. The true you is perfectly loved. The true you is the unlimited presence and power of God. So if there's something that you're going through, no matter how they're difficult, just allow yourself to be present and feel exactly what you're feeling about that. It'll be uncomfortable. It's designed to be because it's designed for you to, to wake up and go, I'm going to allow this to go. And the easiest way is to just say yes to it. Could you just say yes to that negative feeling? Because that's what you're really doing is you're loving that. And everything dissolves in the unlimited power of God, which is perfect love and gratitude. So instead of trying to change the feeling, instead of trying to avoid it, instead of trying to overcome it, instead of trying to get your prayer team together to pray through it, <laughs> most of that, well, all of that doesn't work. But uh just allow yourself to just say yes to that uncomfortable feeling and just say yes to it. Just, I love this feeling. It's okay. Because as you're loving it, what's happening, guys, is you know what's going to dissolve out of you. It's automatic. It's automatic, I promise. And then you can replace it with exactly what you'd like. I allow myself to feel exactly what I'd feel as if I had it. And it's always a feeling of love. It's always a feeling of gratitude. It's always a feeling of, oh, I'm so grateful that everything's working exactly how I want it. So, no matter what the situation looks like, guys, I don't care how difficult it is. If you let the uncomfortable feelings go, they will automatically be replaced by the true nature, which is love and gratitude of having. That's natural to you. You can have anything you desire simply from a thought. I'd like to experience that. That's that's operating in the inner man. That's operating in the spiritual shall reign over the physical. The younger shall reign over the, the older. That's really pretty cool. And so... Uh, as you say yes, and you love it, could I just say yes to having life exactly how you want it? So think of something you'd like to experience, whether it's abundance. Could you just say yes to it? Just allow anything that says you can't have it, let it dissolve out of you. Just And how you do that, how it dissolves out, just I say yes to that negative feeling, and I say yes to it some more. And as that releases, then, you, then it's really easy to start going, I'm so grateful I am the unlimited presence of God. So I just say yes to having life exactly how I want it. And I just say yes to having life exactly how I want it. 
And I just say yes to having life exactly how I want it. I'm so grateful that everything in my life works. And you allow yourself to feel the feeling as if everything was already working in your life. It's always this feeling of peace, of gratitude, of love, of thankfulness. Oh, thank you. I just allow myself to have life exactly how you want it. And what's really cool, guys, the problem naturally dissolves because you're no longer putting any energy on the problem. You allowed all those feelings that were holding the problem to you to leave. And all of your energy has been moved into love and gratitude of having life exactly how you want it. And it starts to just bend and shape and conforms to the new energy in you. And that's what you begin to experience. That's allowing life, allowing yourself to have life exactly how you want it. And it truly is that easy. So I know it works, guys. And I know that'll help you if you allow yourself to do it.